Hello friends, welcome to another weekly top down analysis video on the gold and GJ. So as usual, we are going to start with the monthly time frame and then we'll go down to lower time frames, weekly, daily, four hour and the 30 minutes time frame. On the 30 minute time frame, we will also talk about some intraday and scalping setups as well. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Now gold on the monthly time frame, we can see that we have, uh, you know, resistance and as we can see you know we have this uh, last monthly candle close bullish about this resistance but also we have rejection from the upside now if we look at the current monthly candle we have rejection from the upside and that currently it is looking like a, a bearish candle so now a lot will depends upon you know how this uh, current monthly candle close if we see then we have uh, one more support so if we you know get the current monthly candle close somewhere you know below this support then there'll be higher probability for the next monthly candle to come up to retest this area and keep going to the downside maybe to this support and maybe to you know next support which is right here there's going to be one scenario now another scenario is suppose the current monthly candle close bearish something like this basically respecting this support so now in this case because we have the monthly candle close bearish then there'll be a probability that the next monthly candle keep going to the downside because you know the previous monthly candle is bearish right that's one scenario but at the same time you know because the candle close bearish but respecting this support right so then in that scenario if the next monthly candle doesn't break the low of the previous candle then we have a probability that the price you know, we'll keep going higher, break the high of the previous candle and maybe hopefully make a new higher high. So these are the possibility and the probabilities on the monthly time frame that we see. Now let's go to weekly time frame to find out more details. On the weekly time frame, we can see that the price is bullish because we are making higher highs and higher lows. As we can see, you know, we created a high after that. We came down, created a higher low. Then we broke the previous high, created a higher high. So now it will be great if the price can come down maybe into this area but should not be breaking the previous low and to find some kind of support to come up and not only retest the previous highs, but hopefully making a new higher high in this uptrend. So that is something we see on the weekly time frame. Also, if we look more closely, we can see that, uh, you know, we have a support right here, right? So now if we, you know, basically I see two scenarios here. So if we have, you know, if we find support in uh, this area, which is already a support. So if we form a support in a previous support area, something like this, then there'll be a you know, pretty high probability for the next weekly candle to come up and retest uh, these, these highs and uh, hopefully make a new high high. So that will be one scenario. Another scenario is, you know, as I already mentioned, you know, the price break this support and hopefully also break, break this support. You know, we come down into this area and then finally we find some kind of support in this area you know to come up and uh, you know retest uh, these highs on the left hand side so the, that is something we see on the you know weekly time frame now let's see on the daily time frame to find out more information on the daily time frame we can see that uh, you know the price was making higher highs and higher lows we were making higher high higher low and it's a kind of double top or you can consider it's a higher high but after that we broke the previous low basically we created a low here right so we broke the market structure on the daily time frame now the price may come up to this recent broken area find some kind of resistance to you know come down and uh you know keep going with this uh daily bearish momentum that is something we see on the daily time frame now let's go to four hour time frame to see what is happening on the four hour time frame now on the four hour time frame we can see that uh, we basically let's change the color of this one to maybe blue okay so now on the four hour we can see that we are bearish because we are making lower lows and lower highs we created a low a lower high lower low lower high lower low and right now the price may come up to this recent uh, broken area same as the daily to find some kind of resistance and to come to the downside to reach as the previous low in the four hour time frame now if you go to the daily we can mark this uh, area like uh, this area and uh, this is something we see on the four hour time frame as well that okay the price may come up into this area to find resistance to keep going to the downside right now let's go to 30 minute time frame to see more details of what's happening on the 30 minute time frame on the 30 minute time frame we can see that the price let's change the color of this one first so let's change the color to maybe red and uh, 
So on the 30 minute time frame, we can see that the price is currently bullish because we are making higher highs and higher lows. As we can see, we created a high after that uh, higher low, higher high, higher low. And you can see that we have created a new higher high. So now it will be great if the price can come down to maybe to this recent broken area or maybe lower to find some kind of support to keep going, uh, you know, higher or basically reach as the previous highs. And as we saw on the four hour and the daily that uh, to finally find resistance in that area. So maybe what we can have on the 30 minute time frame, you know, maybe come up higher, keep going bullish, finally reach this area. And there maybe we can make some kind of double top or, you know, and then break the, you know, previous uh, higher low to start, uh, you know, making lower lows and lower highs on the 30 minute time frame to go down with the four hour and the daily. That is something we see on the 30 minute time frame, right? So that's it about the gold. Now let's go to our second pair, which is uh, GBPJPY. On the GBPJPY, we are going to start with the monthly time frame. Now, as we can see, you know, a GG on the monthly time frame is bullish because we are making high highs and higher lows. As we can see, we created a high. After that, we created a low, higher low, higher high, higher low. And right now, we can see that you know the price is uh, kind of at the previous high area. So hopefully, we can make a higher high and you know keep. Uh, uh, maintaining this bullish momentum on the monthly time frame, right? Now let's go to weekly time frame to see more details. On the weekly time frame, we can see that the price is pretty much bullish because we are making higher highs and higher lows. As you can see, we were making highs, higher low, higher high, higher low, and uh, right now we are just making a new higher high. So it would have been great if the price could have come to you know maybe this area or lower to find out support. And then, you know, come up to not only reach at these highs, but hopefully making a new higher high. So that is what, what uh, that is one possibility. And if you look more closely, we can see that we had the resistance last weekly candle close bullish above the resistance. And also we have this support. So now there are two possibilities I see. One possibility is, you know, if the next weekly candle just open up, doesn't break the low of the previous candle, basically make a lower week and then break the high of the previous candle to continue higher and hopefully making a new higher high. That's one possibility. But at the same time, if we, you know, break this support, basically close below this support, then the price may come down to not only this support, but maybe to, you know, this support as well. You know, that can also be a possibility. And finally, you know, find support uh, in uh, this area to, come up and retest uh, the previous high created by the price. That is, that is These are the two possibilities that I see on the weekly time frame. Now let's go to a daily time frame to see more details. On the daily time frame, the price is bullish at the moment because we are making higher highs and higher lows. As we can see, we created the high, higher low, high high, higher low, high high, higher low. And right now the price is coming up to make a new high high, right? So that is something we see on the daily time frame. And uh, as we saw on the weekly time frame so now the possible scenarios are here you know the price may come down to this area to find support to continue higher that is one possibility right another possibility is if we break this support you know that is basically you know the breaking the market structure on the daily then in, in that situation we can wait for the price to come up to you know this area to find resistance to keep going to the downside and that is something we you know, mentioned while analyzing the weekly time frame that if we, you know, uh, you know, we break this support, then the price may come down to this support. And, uh, you know, this support, that is something, you know, we saw in the weekly time frame. Now let's go to four hour time frame to see, you know, what we see on the four hour time frame. On the four hour time frame, if we see, you know, price is currently, you know, bullish, let's change the color here to yellow. Okay, so now if we see on the four hour time frame, we can see that we created a high, basically broke the previous resistance. Then we retested that area, created a higher low. After that, we broke the previous high, created a, you know, higher, higher, and higher low. Here we can see that in a small, you know, area, we created multiple higher highs and uh, higher lows. And, uh, you know, but, but the price is not able to make a significant higher high. Anyways, so we can see that we have a resistance and uh, also we have the support. So now the one thing is, you know, price is already at a support area. So price just uh, uh, basically find support in this uh, area. So like uh, what we can see is uh, if uh, the price finds support in this area, then there'll be higher probability price is gonna come up to reach the previous high and hopefully, 
making a new higher high, that is something a possibility. But at the same time, if we, you know, break this support, then we have another four hour support here. So in this situation, because once we break this a four hour support, price is gonna come down, right? And after that, uh, what can happen is a price may, you know, come up to, uh, you know, find resistance in this area to keep going to the downside. Basically, you know, as we could see, we were making high highs and higher lows. So here we broke up, you know, that support came up to the recent broken area, find resistance to keep going to the downside. That's one possibility. Another possibility is, you know, we broke the support, came down, finally bounced off this area, and then we break this resistance. After that, we find support in this area to keep going higher and retest the previous high created by the price, right? That is something a possibility on the four hour time frame as well. Now let's go to 30 minute time frame to see more details what we can anticipate on the 30 minute time frame. On the 30 minute time frame, we can see that the price is uh, bullish because we are making high highs and high lows. We can see we create the high, higher low, high, high, higher low, high, high, and higher low. So this is going to be a strong support. We also saw on the four hour time frame as well. Now, if we look more closely on the 30 minute time frame, we can see that we have a resistance basically and we have a support. So now if we get a uh, you know 30 minute candle close above this uh, resistance then there will be a pretty high probability price is going to come up to retest the previous high that's going to be one possible scenario but uh, at the same uh, time i'm not looking for cells below i mean i'm not looking for breakout cells below this area because we we have this four hour support in this area so what i'll be looking for i'll be waiting for you know, if we go bearish, I'll be waiting for the price to break this support, create a low, and hopefully, you know, you know, price to retail this area. And after that, if we come up, you know, to this area and find resistance in that area, then I'll be looking to take short in order to target the previous low. But as we mentioned on the four hour time frame, if the price break this resistance come up, then I'll be waiting for a retest of this area, maybe, you know, find support in this area to come up and retest the previous high. So that's it, guys. This was the analysis on the gold and GG from the monthly to the 30 minute time frame. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you really did like the video, share the video and subscribe to the channel in order to support the channel and YouTube algorithm. Thank you very much. See you in another video.